back to another video. Here today is me, Mel Serenade, and today we're going to be doing another guest match review. So, today we have got the Polish MP4 guest mask, long way of video, and yeah, so first of all, the outside. So the front, it's got a uh, small voice diagram, well quite a large one, and a uh, hidden XL valve around that. Then obviously on the side, you've got the big cheek filter things, the cheek, cheek filter pockets right there, so yeah, and then another one on the other side, I got mine in size 2 on there, you probably won't see it, but it says size 2, so yeah, and there's another marking just next to this strap, you're probably not going to see it as well, but it's there. You might not see it, but it says uh, that it was made in 1987, um, and I think the shelf life is life. Ugh, the shelf life is to 1995. It says on there something like that. I don't know. <sighs> But yeah, uh, the straps are just a simple um, uh, six point um, six point head harness, uh, nice uh, nice look, elasticated straps. Aren't really elasticated anymore because it's old and stuff like that. But yeah, um, it's got these bits. On there, if you, if anyone can tell me why they have these bits on there, not just normal straps like them, then please tell me. And then we've got a uh, kind of like triangular eyepieces, kind of, yeah. And I think you'll notice that this is um, a, almost an direct copy of the American. Um, M17A1, I think I'm saying that right, uh, which it is, but obviously has some different differences, like uh, not as much metal. This on the M17, this would have been all metal and not rubber. And yeah, I mean it's still quite heavy, but yeah, still looks like an M17. So yeah, as I said, this doesn't fit me. So. Yeah, um, I probably aren't going to put it on, well probably will, but it won't fit me, I'll, I'll put it on now, and then I'll show you the inside, uh, so yeah, I'll put it on, as I said, it doesn't fit me, uh, I'll just do it for like 10 seconds or something, and I'll, uh, yeah, take it off. As I said, not really a great fit. Don't even make an airtight seal. Well, it kind of does, but still something like him. But yeah. It probably would be more comfortable if it actually fit me. And um, the um, uh, Oran Nasal Cup tends to uh, uh, fold in on itself, which is a bit annoying. I'll quickly undo the strap so I can show you, show you, blah, blah, show you the inside. Yeah. I'll just pause it for a sec for the straps and pull them back, as you can see. And yeah, uh, let's see the inside. First of all, under this cheek, there is a load of blue numbers. If you can see there. You can tell me what they mean, and that'd be great. It says X87, which probably means like um, production date 1987. Then II5 or 115, don't know. And then an oval with the number 700 in it. Don't know. Might be the production number or serial number. So yeah. Right. So on the inside. Uh, you have got the right inside. Uh, you've got the uh, white plastic buttons that you would undo to put the filters in. I'll go into the filters in a bit. And then you've got the ever collapsing uh, 
little um all nasal cup and then you've got the nose right at the back there and then the triangle eyes pieces and then you can just about see the voice diaphragm in there as well um and then in there obviously it's metal construction in there if you look down past the um past the chin rest uh, you will see the XL valve I won't be able to show you it I already know that so yeah it has also got some tissue tubes right there I'll just show you that and yeah there's not much else on the inside not very many stamps none at all by the looks of things but yeah I, this is yeah. I think this is quite a cool mask I mean yeah, well, I'll tell you my full opinion at the end. Right, so the next thing, so uh, what it comes with, uh, we've got some outserts. Just some outserts that you put on the outside of the lenses. I can't really get them on very well, so I think I'll just leave them off. Don't really matter. Uh, I'll just do the filters. Um, so these are the filters. It came with three pairs of filters. Um, one of them is in the garage, one pair of them, and uh, in Dad's garage, and the other one is, is here, so got my two pairs, so here. Um, so this pair, right there, um, probably MBC filters by all these things. Um, look, looks like they're not leaking. Well, they might. Actually, yeah, they are leaking. Don't really matter though, because they're all sealed. Don't need to worry about that. And then these ones, uh, it will come in foil. So you can't really see inside of them, but I expect they're probably leaking too. I mean, they are vacuum sealed. More well, so made than that. But anyway, I don't recommend using these. Um, Bob Stone, a uh, fellow subscriber on this channel, so make sure you go subscribe and have a look at his channel if he has if he has one I haven't actually looked at his channel oh well sorry um, he said that these are not safe I mean there is a lot of controversy it's much like the GP5 filters uh, GP5 filters are not safe by the way if you say they are then you are wrong get ready for a horde of people on this channel to say you are wrong they are not safe go look it up well, if you go look it up, you'll probably find the same thing. But anyway, so yeah, these filters are not safe. Um, obviously, a lot of controversy. I've had a look on loads of places. One place says it's safe to use, but um, be careful when using them, which kind of doesn't make sense. And then you've got others, and you know, it's just all jumbled up mess. <sighs> By the way, I've still got a cold, so yeah. Um, and then this bag, obviously the American style bag, like that, it will go like that on your waist and then you could open it up and like be like, oh yeah, I'm going to put my guest mask on, something like that, um, but yeah, hang on, something's missing in this, I think, yeah, something's missing, I will have to have a look for it. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to have a look at it, uh, look for it, and then I'll do another video on it another time. But yeah, so yeah, that's all that. In inside, uh, you have got um, some kind of like cardboard stuff to keep it rigid. Um, the buttons on this are very, very hard to put in and pull out. So probably just because of age, but still it's not very good. And then you've got a state stamp, or oh, just a stamp there. Um, just having a look for other stamps. Oh, there's another serial number right there. I'll just read it. It is 349983. Uh, there's another stamp there, but you might not see it. It's like there. You might see it. Um, but 
But yeah, there's the inside again. Got a little pocket there. Yep, and then on to the outside, you have got a little pocket here with some stuff in it. I'll get it out. Now, these are the filter covers. So, you've got a little bit of fabric there. But these are different filter covers. I had other ones. Oh, wait, maybe they're just a different colour. This is a total mystery with this. Oh, right. Anyway, I'll just have a look at these. So, yeah, these are the uh, fabric felt covers. Um, they are fabric because, uh, at least I think this, is it's an e extra particulate layer so it doesn't get all the filters bummed up. Or at least that's my way of saying it. So, yeah, there's two there. The, obviously, the uh, uh, valves. Yeah, those would have gone inside the mask um, with the filters on. They don't work without the filters. There's clip on without the filters. You have to have the filters in the mask to put those on, which is a bit annoying. But it's just gas masks, isn't it? So yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, there's another pocket. Uh, there's another pocket, rather, um, with another faded stamp. Another blue one. Uh, and there's this other pocket with looks like a name slip where you put your name in by lots of things and then yeah and then that's about it and then you've got your uh, your strap so you put it round like this I think and you have it at your side like that you see and obviously you have the waist strap on and stuff like that. And you just have it on like that so you could undo it, get your mask out, put it on. Simple as that really. So yeah, that is basically the end of the video. I'll try and find the other stuff if I can. And then I might do an, might do another video on those extra things. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and comment, but make sure you subscribe. So yeah. So yeah, as I said, just just go subscribe. Oh, I still there. Just just go subscribe. It's it's right down there. It's it's, it's right down there. All you have to do is, or if you're on the phone, is just like. Oh, if you're on your, if you're on your computer, you just bloop. Come on, man. Subscribe. Subscribe. I will find you. I'm joking, I won't find you. I have made this video go on too long. But yeah, anyway, uh, if you want a chance to get a shout out, so if you actually have stayed to the end of the video, then, oh yeah then you might get a shout out, oh yeah. So, if you want a chance to get a shout out, then please, make sure you have the notification bell on. Because the first person, the first comment, will get a shout out. Maybe, I don't know, I might forget. If I do, then I'm sorry. See ya. But, oh my God, I can't. It's like the phone is not letting me end the video.